The kitchen, once known as the old brew room, the kitchen is said to have many strange occurrences happen. Voices have been heard in all areas of the room. Also noises have been heard coming from inside these cupboards. But what these noises are, nobody's quite sure. The scutching room. Not much has been seen or heard in this room, but various volunteers who are helping with the renovation in this part of the building have reported feeling a cold blast of air. But the strange thing is, the cold blasts are only ever felt on warm summer days. The education room. Although this room looks like a 1930s to 1960s classroom, it was originally called the workshop and it is said that past workers can still be heard working in the area today, as well as some strange smells that can only be associated with the days from when the mill was fully operational. The engine room. There's only one story that sticks out in the minds of all the staff who work at Lee Spinner's Mill today, and that story can be told by many. While staff were working in the scutching room only 50 yards away, they heard what can only be explained as a gut-wrenching scream. But when they all ran into the engine room to find out what the scream was, they were met with an eerie silence. With no one else in the area, it was very difficult for anyone to explain where the scream had come from. Floor 5, or the spinning room as it was once known, is said to be very haunted. The building's caretaker has seen some very strange shadowy shapes moving fast and slow in every area of this room. He also claimed to have seen a figure stood by these doors, but when he called out to what he thought was staff, the figure slowly walked off and disappeared as if into thin air. Even staff working in the middle late into the night refused to enter the spinning room alone. Lee Spinner's mill is reported to have activity in many areas, including the lifts and stairwells, with further reports of footsteps heard running in various areas throughout the building and the apparition of a man seen holding a clipboard. The question is, will any of the paranormal places guests encounter what the Lee Spinner's mill workers have encountered over the years?